Welcome to the Take Charge of Change podcast. In this podcast, we'll help you to lead a more resilient professional and personal life by sharing great content to make you smarter, more energetic, emotionally healthy, financially confident, so you accomplish your professional and personal goals in spite of the challenges that are sure to come your way. Hi everyone, Sean Humphreys here. Welcome to this edition of the Take Charge of Change podcast. Well, in this video presentation, I'm going to talk um, about some concepts and ideas that flow out of the book, uh, Resilience, by Eric Greitens. Um, Eric Greitens has an amazing story, and I'll link to the show notes for this, this podcast, uh, a little bit of his bio information. But this book is drawn from his experience working with uh, a buddy of his. They were both Navy SEALs, and his friend was going through a very, very difficult um, um, time where he was basically deteriorating significantly in almost every area of his life, and, um, and Eric was really worried about him and wanted to mentor him and to help him foster the resilience that he needed to get back in, into the game of life. So he wrote a series of letters back and forth to this friend, and contained in these letters are some great uh, comments about you know notions of resilience, how to build resilience, uh, all the ideas that come about to create resilience in our lives. And a lot of it is you know what goes on inside of our head, so a lot of his comments are around that particular area. So let's go through it together, and so I'll have a few videos that unpack some of these ideas, and hopefully you'll find it somewhat inspirational and motivational and helpful as you look at building resilience in your own personal life. You know, so Eric talks about this notion that what you become is what you're willing to endure. Um, you know, part of resilience is not just responding to challenges, but is actually going out and putting yourself in a situation where you're experiencing challenges intentionally, pushing the envelope. Um, really challenging yourself. But what comes along with that is personal discipline, discomfort, sometimes pain. Um, But it's a necessary part of improving who we are. So I thought that was a really good sort of introductory comment near the beginning um, of the book. There's only one road to human greatness, and that's the road through human suffering. Uh, We live in a culture that doesn't want to talk about those things, but the reality is pain uh, and suffering is, is a road to personal growth and community growth for that matter. Resilience is more than just bouncing back in hardships. Um, In fact, we don't just bounce back to where we were, what our former self was. Resiliency is about taking the experiences of change and those changes um, that we experience in our lives will change us forever. We don't bounce back to the same individual we were before we experienced those changes. We're different people. Um, And it's about, resiliency is about the integration of these experiences into our lives to embrace life and to challenge life in a new way with new understandings, maybe new skills and abilities and thinking based on the challenges that really tested our resilience. Um, Of course, life is never free of struggle. Um, That just comes along for the ride, uh, but a lot of us try to live our lives that life is about not struggling. Um, We're always in, in that context of struggle if we're in motion. If you have some specific goals that you're trying to accomplish, you can almost guarantee that there'll be some level of struggle likely, whether it's in relationships or finances or time, um, family. I mean, it's just part of the equation that comes along with building personal resiliency. Um, Some people are made stronger through these challenges. Some people are made um, weaker and are broken under the challenge. Uh, The difference is resilience, okay? So that's the magic sauce. That's a secret sauce in terms of what we need to cultivate to get through challenges. The other thing is you can't, you know, you can't um, blame your current situation on your circumstances. At the end of the day, we all go through in our lives difficult circumstances. We can't control all circumstances, and so uh, it's not circumstances or other people that you're going to be blaming. You've got to shift that responsibility to yourself. Resilience is about endurance with a direction. In other words, it's very important that you cultivate. Um, and progress towards a powerful why. What is your purpose? What are your values? What are you trying to accomplish in your life generally and the different spheres of your life? And the resilience is about the endurance to move in that direction. Getting up every day and exhibiting grit and endurance as you work towards uh, your goals or fight through current problems or issues that you're confronted uh, with in your life. Um, You are not responsible for everything that happens to you but you are responsible for how you respond to what happens to you. I think there's a critical distinction there. Uh, So again, I think it's worth just saying it again. You're not responsible for everything that happens to you, but you are responsible for how you respond to what happens to you. 
Um, too many people choose the path of excuses when it comes to why things aren't going the way that they would like them to. There's this notion of the cultivation of the virtues, which is about becoming excellent. Um, and virtues are developed through practice and patience and diligence. Um, people are not great all the time. Uh, that's a reality. Um, compassionate people can be cruel. Brave people can be cowards. Loving people can be insensitive. We are all in process. And so it's always important that we work on the virtues, whether it's humility or patience or being long-suffering, to be kind, to be generous of spirit and of resources. Those things don't come naturally to us. Those are things that we need to fight for and develop every day in our lives. And to the extent that we don't do those things, then the weeds will start making incursions into our lives and we'll be less uh, of what we could actually be. So we need to be cultivating those virtues. The fruit of rel uh, resilience is manifested over time. It's the result of consistent behaviors, consistently done over a period of time. It's not a single activity. It's not a single event. It's a consistent series of disciplines that will lead to resilience. You really need to cultivate this idea and embrace the notion of, of not deceiving um, yourself. We've talked about this in previous uh, videos. Being resilient is being brutally honest about the facts of your situation and to face the reality and to count the cost. Don't deceive yourself. And so a lot of times if you're not making the progress you want in your life, whatever area it might be, it could be in your business life, it could be with your family or your spouse or your kids or whatever, um, that you have not counted the cost, that you're being lazy or you're just pushing it off and hoping that the issue is going to go away. Problems don't go away but we often act like they will. So you need to have clarity in your current reality. Don't wallow in your pain. Instead, act and do something about it. So motion, start acting. Little things make a huge difference, uh, particularly psychologically and emotionally. If you begin moving in a certain direction to defeating some of those uh, issues in your life, it's critically important. Fear is often telling you that you are on the cusp of something worthwhile, and so fear is not something to be afraid of. Fear is telling you, okay, I'm now stepping out, I'm pushing the envelope, I'm, not, I'm feeling a little bit out of my comfort zone, that's probably a good thing. Begin with humility in any kind of change process. Arrogance is the armor worn by the hollow man. And I thought that was a great comment that Eric Wrighton said. So again, begin with humility. You don't know everything. That means taking courses, reading books, talking to experts, talking to mentors. Arrogance is the armor worn by a hollow man. Uh, life places limits on all of us, but that shouldn't keep us from trying and fighting valiantly to deal with the current constellation of problems in our lives. We all have the capacity to make a difference in our own personal lives and in the lives of other people. So in a world of perfection, the virtues wouldn't be required, but we obviously don't live in a world of perfection. The first step is the acceptance of current circumstances, um, how terrible it might be, is not an excuse for inaction. Um, great change can come from small adjustments made with great conviction. Um, so changes, little, little changes in our life, every single day can have profoundly huge impacts over time. Um, just think about it, just little things. What could they be? Getting to bed a little bit earlier. You know, it's amazing how much sleep and rest can have an impact in our lives. Uh, maybe a little bit of exercise can have a profound change. Maybe it's prayer, maybe a prayer of thanks every day, um, being grateful for what you have. Uh, how about family dinners? You know, maybe connecting with your loved ones at least once a week or twice a week over dinner. Um, those can make huge, huge impacts on our lives. It's about making those positive daily choices. So when we fail to start something because we say we don't know what to do or we lack knowledge, um, it's really masking a lack of courage. It's fear, it's cowardice. So again, um, it's very important. I mean, he hits hits us hard in this book, right? Um, but it's not lack of knowledge. You know, we can get knowledge. We can get mentors. We can get training. It's often fear or cowardice that keeps us from initiating change in our lives and fighting through, um, you know, those, those roadblocks. In your journey, you will head in the right direction if you know the difference between better and worse. Um, and so it's not about beginning at a more noble place. It's about ending there. Okay, so life doesn't have to be perfect right now. Um, you just need to start in a direction. 
a lot of times people wait for everything to be all lined up and perfect and they got you know everything organized now they can start on their journey to personal change or or resilience and you just got to start where you are that's the most important thing is to start um, it's a journey to selflessness and meaning it's about the gradual purification of motive um, sure we can have regrets about starting late um, and wasting years um, but worse is never beginning the journey and a lot of people never embrace change in their lives or try to initiate change because they're so weighed down with what they haven't done and the time that's gone by don't let that happen if there's areas that you're really struggling with then push forward don't let the regrets of the past keep you from taking those first steps and when pursuing something noble uh, you know being courteous makes a difference um, expect criticism it's part of your journey don't let it silent your voice and become invisible now when you start making those changes you will get people who won't agree with you people who will question your motives who will not be encouraging that doesn't mean you shouldn't be changing and it doesn't mean that you don't have a noble purpose but expect that not everyone's going to be excited about the change you're initiating and your cultivation of resilience in your life um, when um, pursuing something noble um, as well expect enemies and critics when you strive to make a difference uh, that just comes along with the territory um, a true friend uh, works with you, uh, sweats with you, and offers words of wisdom, having known you and been in the trenches with you. Uh, having known you and being in the trenches means that they will take the good and bad. Um, and so it, it will surprise you that when you begin initiating change, you might have people coming alongside you who you thought were friends or trying to pull you back to uh, your old ways of doing things. So those are a few thoughts for today on building personal resilience and getting ahead of those tough times that are sure to come by cultivating a way of thinking that will be very helpful uh, for you. That concludes this edition of the Take Charge of Change podcast. For more resources, be sure to go to our website, www.takechargeofchange.com. If you want to pursue this notion of professional and personal resilience, be sure to download our free ebook, The Resilient Professional, 15 chapters of great content that will take you through a personal journey to building your resilience in all kinds of areas, financial, emotional, relational, uh, physical. So be sure to take a look at the Resilient Professional ebook on our website. Wishing you all the best in your pursuit of professional and personal resilience.